All right, we're ready to drop the lifters in. Got brand new lifters. Go ahead and make sure that the flat is lined up, or the roller, I should say, perpendicular to the cam so that it rides with the load. Straight down, just drop freely in. From the factory, the oil holes are pointing directly toward the cylinders. If you've got a set of like woods or any directional lifters, then make sure that you put them in so that they're facing the uh, oil ports. Give the lifter a little lube. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Drop her in. There we go. A little bit of assembly lube. And drop right in. Make sure those flats are aligned, then take your little dowel pin and take put a little bit of assembly lube on that as well. Drop it into place. I kind of push your lifters down a little bit. Don't be alarmed, it won't go all the way down because it probably means the lobe of the cam is up right here, so that's why this won't go down any further. The tap it covers anyway and sit over top of that. I'm gonna go ahead and get my gasket ready and just complete this side before we do the other side. So another way to easily tell which direction the gasket goes on, it's kind of you know odd shape, but these little Tabs here are actually meant, I don't I don't know why, they're not really hold downs, but they're meant to lay over top of that rod. So that they should go on the uh, the outer side with those tabs laying over top of the rod. Not be in the way of the lifters. Yeah, otherwise they would be in the way of the lifters, and obviously that's not the way of the lifter. And here's the uh, finished product of that quick wrinkle black job we did on the uh, shitty chrome lifter covers. Same thing we did before with the rocker box cover, two bolts. To hold our gasket in place. Make sure you start all the bolts in here by hand. Everything on this engine is all aluminum, so you do not want to cross thread anything. Start them all down by hand, make sure everything lines up nicely, and then you can start tightening them down. This one, this one I can't really get in here with the tool, so I'm going to use an Allen. The tool doesn't f quite fit up here. Alright. These are adjustable push rods. Makes this much easier to reinstall and if we ever have to go back in here, we don't have to take the top end apart again, so that's handy. I'll be in twin cams, not if, it's when. Yeah. Not if, but when. So, pretty much adjust all the length out of them, which it looks like they come already pre adjusted to their shortest setting. So, you yeah, can fit them in there. Uh, I don't know about all of them, but the ones I bought here, they're just basically uh, uh, what is it? High, high Lift Johnson lifters and uh, High Lift Johnson. Uh, Chromoly steel push rods, nothing really super special, but uh, you have an intake and an exhaust. I'm pretty sure any of you order are going to wow, specify really? because they are different lengths ever so slightly. The exhaust is going to be slightly longer. Okay. Note to the world of YouTube, if you cheap out and buy some just eBay off-the-shelf push rod, push rod tubes, you're not going to get the entire push rod tube. And you will have to use your old upper, which, when compared to the new chrome goodness, looks like crap. It really doesn't look what you. So if you order a set of S and S or they come complete, Comp Cams or any of those brands, they come complete with fully assembled push rod tubes. Good to know. I wonder if that's something that just should come with and didn't. I mean, what did the ad look like? Well, let's stop recording and, and determine that. 
Okay, and we're back after cleaning up our old push rod tubes and top ends we had to use. Aluminum top end it didn't come out too bad looking, but it's just aluminum. You won't see this part at all. Really impressed with the mean green and little brass brush to the collar. Comparing that to the new two blowers, I mean, looks look pretty good. So, oh, and we uh. We took the old rusted springs, also dipped them in some mean green, hit them with a brush to knock off all the loose rust, and then I coated them with some epoxy paint, baked them in the oven for about 20 minutes, 150 degrees. Not a real high temp paint, but just enough to fast cure it so we can put this back together. So, first you're going to reassemble your upper tube, which is going to consist of... Well, let me go back. You've actually got three O-rings per tube. You're going to have the biggest O-ring is going to go on the bottom of your new tube. The smallest O-ring is going to go in the center. And the other O-ring is about the same diameter but fatter than the smaller O-ring is going to go on the top of your tube. So take the collar in your upper tube, put the collar in just like that with the open end, not the flanged end, facing down. The flanged end is going to go to the flanged end up here. Take your spring, slide your spring on. Get your washer, slide it on next, and then your smallest O-ring will go over that. When this all comes together, that O-ring is going to seat up against that right there with the spring being able to be pulled your lock down. Tab. Yeah. Your lock tab will cover the rest of the tube. Aluminum tube and your push rod will be all seated inside. So you may as well push that down. Yeah, you're, um, you're going to collapse it completely. Big O ring on the bottom. Little fat O ring on the top. All right. Now this push rod tube is ready for a push rod. We go ahead and install the exhaust side first. Slide the push rod through the push rod tube. Slide it up in. Slide it. Place. Make sure you feel it actually get it. Yeah, there you go. Make sure you feel the ball kind of seat itself. I mean, it, it, it might come back down, but you want to make sure that you're able to feel and where it fits into the rocker. Well, all that's going to be snapped up in place once you put the clip on, but you're not going to put the clip on until we get the extra pusher. So what you do is get the top of it into the cup in the rocker and then start unscrewing that to come all the way down and touch the lifter. You gotta unscrew the actual bottom, not just the uh take the nut all the way off. No, don't take the nut all the way off. That nut's just a lock nut. Okay. The whole the whole centerpiece is threaded. Okay. Let me just show you this. So look, your lock nut here is not where you're trying to spin. You're actually spinning the entire rod inside. See? So what we're gonna do is collapse this back now. What brand did you say these were? High Low Jim or something like that? High Lift Johnson. High Lift Johnson. So you can see it's actually marked as exhaust. All right, here you go. Is Make that sure that you install the intake side first because it's behind the exhaust side and that makes the intake side relatively difficult to get to. Get your push rod up in there. Make sure it's up against the rocker. Up in the rocker, not against the rocker. It's got to be in the, the rocker. The ball has got to be in, in the, uh, the rocker. in the rocker cup. All right, so we'll do the intake side first. Coming around from the back side of the tappet block. And you do want to keep it seated in the rocker cup while you're doing it. Exhaust side. Now the exhaust side. Okay. 
on both of those. So let's go and get the rear one set up. And then we can start actually rotating it over a few times. And go from there. So we're going to get the rear ones in. They go in the same exact way as the fronts do. It's a bit of a bear, yes, but you know, hey, adjustable push rods, right? Woo! Alright, so we got a little involved and went ahead and got these uh, push rods and all put in. Um, instructions said to zero lash them and then go ahead and turn them down three more turns. So, what I learned in the process of zero lashing the Evo, and I did it on this and we'll see how well it worked, is I'll zero lash the actual push rods, but then what I do is I actually spin the motor over a few times and push down to make sure that that lifter is all the way seated against the cam. And inevitably, I, I had it happen up here and, on, and back here, uh, I found another half inch or so of play where it just didn't quite um, seat the lifter all the way. So we did that, zero lashed at that point, and then three more full turns, which these are square, they're not, you know, hexagon, so it was like 12 total flats um, for three full turns, and then we'll, yeah, once we're ready, we'll fire it up. You can see we got the exhaust off, so we'll have that Vance and Hines short shots going on through the air cleaner back on. Um, I'm assuming we haven't cleaned the air filter yet, so we got to clean the air filter still. But yeah, other than that, coming along. All new cams and everything down in there should make for a much more reliable twin cam. <laughs> 